Hi everybody, uh, this is the start of my uh, next project. This is the box I, I've had engraved by uh, Dave at Circle of Five imbued. It's done an absolutely superb job for me. Uh, I'm sorry if you've not got the best of pictures here, but I'm in the van and I, I can't get any more light on the on the picture than this at the moment. Okay, but there you, you, you can see the box. It's wonderfully engraved. Now, I've got a few options here I'm going to share with you and see what you think. Um, and if I get any input off anybody, I will uh, take it on board and see if I can use it. So really, if you like, we can make this guitar together in that sense. I, I don't particularly want to destroy the top of the box by putting sound holes in it. <laughs> putting a uh, pickup on it and in fact even going as far as putting a bridge on it but with saying that I've got some uh, some sound hole covers which are in the the distressed state shall we say made that way purposely and again I've got the uh, the tailpiece cover which I think even though I'm really objecting to uh, cutting into the box I think they look quite smart I think this tail piece would is going to have to go on the uh, on the butt end of the guitar instead of on the on fitting it on the box like I would like it to um, I, I want it to go on the butt end of the guitar if it goes on so it's going to say it'll be about there um, and the beauty of these, putting these on, is one, obviously, they're going to be sound holes, so hopefully, don't know how it's going to turn out, if it's going to turn out acoustically well or not. Um, I don't actually think it spoils it. Now, I, I really would like somebody's opinion here to help me along and see what you think. That's with them on anyway. And, of course, that's, that's with it naked. I, I like it both ways. Now, another thing... Um, I'm going to put one or two mini unbuckers actually in the box, not on the surface of the box. I've done a little test and given enough clearance, a small amount of clearance underneath, you you do you do get a um, you do get the sound coming through. I'm not too sure about the tonal range yet because I, I need to really fix them to see if it if it deadens the tone or not I would like no pickups visible on the box I don't want to go down the piezo road I'd prefer to put decent unbuckers underneath if I get the uh, the the desired effect again um, I don't know if anybody's done it anybody's got any uh, comments here at all if that is possible if you have, I would like to hear them, please. Um, right, there was another thing, right? As a, as far as a bridge goes, I uh, I've got an idea for a bridge. It won't be actually a fixed bridge. You what? You again? I like an opinion. Um, if you think a bridge would wouldn't or would or wouldn't look out of place, please please pass us a comment. Personally, if, if I'm putting these on and this on, it might as well have a bridge on, but I don't want it to look overcrowded. Um, I really don't. I don't want it to look overcrowded. Then I've got to have the, the volume and volume controls, which will no doubt go on one side of the box uh, like the other one. They're probably going this corner here. And then with the jack output there, again, I'm not sure yet at all. So uh, any comments, any ideas, please, about if I was to put a bridge on there, what type of bridge? Would it be a wooden one? Would it be a screw to keep it in the old format? Or what? Um, 
Okay, so that that's. I'm going to start on this soon. Not 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 just at the moment, but I will do soon, because I'm going to have to make this decision of what I'm going to do around this area. Now, another thing I noticed about the box, it's quite thick. The side walls are quite thick, so your pots and your your jack aren't going to feed through that. I'm now going to have to thin out the inside of the box a little bit wherever the uh, the pots and the jack are going to go that that shouldn't be too much of an issue that should chisel out quite nicely there okay the, the back of the box i haven't got a back of the box at the moment yet i'm talking to somebody who can cut some clear perspex and uh, we can hinge that and make that as the back of the box can either hinge it or i can screw it on there It'd be nice to have hinges on to get in and out of the gubbins if i want to mess about it's a nice thin top on the box but as you can see it's quite thick side walls i put the braces in there there was absolutely no need to put the braces in but i put the braces in before i cut the box in half um, as I said, there was no need to because it's an old box, it's about 100 years old, the box apparently. You can see the dovetail joints there, nice fitting dovetail joints. Um, it's as sturdy as hell really, the box. That's it for the moment. If you are watching this video and you'd like to pass a sensible comment, please. Uh, I'd welcome any uh, any suggestions or any help because uh, I don't I don't want to ruin it it's going to be quite an expensive guitar at the rate it's going with the cost of the uh, the cost of the box and the artwork and the the neck and all the uh, good quality gubbins these have come from chicken bone John uh, right so so that's it I, I I'm I will proceed I'll video it as well when I mark the holes, I'll start cutting out here to put the pots in, etc. I'll, uh, I'll get my video out and do the best I can for you. Speak to you later. Thank you. Bye.